सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दिस न्यू सेशन सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड विद द सेकेंड चैप्टर दैट इज रेजोनेंस वी हैव कवर्ड विद टू टू इंपॉर्टेंट वीडियोज एंड वी हैव डिस्कस्ड वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट सो प्लीज दो हैव नॉट वॉच दो वीडियोज प्लीज वॉच इट ओके एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो एंड प्लीज लाइक दिस वीडियो बिफोर यू वॉच वॉच टिल द एंड बिकॉज आई एम नॉट डूइंग एनी प्रॉब्लम हियर I am just going to explain this whole chapter. I have the notes here with me, handwritten. That only I am going to see and explain it how as much as possible because I don't have much time now because I am I am in a busy schedule now. So yeah. So please watch it, guys. Please support us and uh, those who are not watched the previous videos of this module, in the, that is the first chapter, two port networks. I have briefly explained it to you all. So please watch it and then come and watch this video. Okay. Yeah. So we have left with the bandwidth. We have uh, done with the concept of bandwidth in the previous session, right? So regarding that bandwidth, I have just uh, explained you. I have just introduced with the concept bandwidth and how it is related with the cutoff frequencies and all. Now let us uh, try to obtain the expressions using the condition of bandwidth. Okay. That is bandwidth and selectivity for series resonance circuit. That is the current is given by I is equal to V by Z. So where the The condition that is z is equal to r, right? So in place of r, now I have replaced it by z. Here. Okay, that is i is equal to v by z. Now what we will be getting? I is equal to v divided by the value of z. That is the impedance r square plus omega l plus one by omega c the whole square. Okay, so this one equation I have named it. Name it as equation one. At half power point, we know that i is represented as i naught by root two. Okay, that is one by root two, and this i naught is v by r. Okay, so substituting in equation one the value of i at half power point. Okay, that is now we are representing in terms of bandwidth, right? So the definition of bandwidth, as I have already told you, that is band of frequencies over which the power in the circuit is half of its maximum value. So that now we are splitting that at uh, this i, we are splitting it with uh, two halves. So that's why we will be getting one half as i naught by root two. Other half as i naught by root two, and let us see what and all the expressions we get. So here we after substituting that, that is one by root two into v by r. I'm substituting in place of i here. So what we'll be getting one v would be getting cancelled here. We would be left with one by root two r is equal to one by the uh, impedance value here. So cross multiply here, we would be getting r square root of r square plus omega l plus one by omega c whole square is equal to root two r. Okay. So now, in order to eliminate the uh, the square roots, I'm just uh, squaring on both sides. So that's why it would be a square and root would be getting cancelled. These two square roots would be getting cancelled. We would be left with the without square root equation. Now, what I'm doing is this r square. I'm bringing it to other side. That is two r square minus r square is equal to this term only. Then two r square minus r square is equal to r square. That is equal to omega l plus one by omega c the whole square. Now here in both the terms we have squares. Okay, so now again we can apply it roots on both sides. So we will be getting r is equal to plus or minus because we are applying the square root. Okay, so that's why plus or minus omega l plus one by omega c. Okay, so this is the expression we get. Also, we can uh, conclude that omega l plus one by omega c is equal to plus or minus r. Okay, so this says that at half power frequencies f1 and f2, the reactive part of impedance. Of series LCR circuit is equal to the resistive part of impedance. Okay, that is the reactive part. That is omega L plus one by omega C is equal to the resistive part uh, with uh, without seeing the signs. That is plus or minus R. Okay, so this is one condition we got at for at the first half power point. Okay, so now the above equation is in is quadratic in quadratic in omega. That is, if you see very carefully, omega two L. Minus one by omega two c is equal to plus r. Since we have two of the resistance values here, plus r and minus r, so let's try to write the equation separately, quadratically. That is, omega two l minus one by omega two c two c is equal to plus r, and omega one l is equal to one by omega one c is equal to minus r. Name it as equation two and equation three. Okay. First, let us add two and three. So, equation two and three are. In order to make this resistance equal to zero, I am making it. I am adding it because we have in one we have plus r and another thing, another thing we have minus r. So that's why we are adding these two equations to get the expression of uh, this to get the equation only in terms of omega. Okay, we don't need the resistance here. So I am adding those two equations. What we will be getting? 
omega 2l minus 1 by omega 2c plus omega 1l uh, minus 1 by omega 1c is equal to minus r plus r that would be equal to 0. So here now what I am doing is just simplifying it by taking the LCM and now we would be getting one term that is L into omega 1 plus omega 2 minus 1 by C into 1 by omega 1 plus 1 by omega 2. Okay, if we simplify it, we would be getting like this. That is equal to 0. So now what I am doing is here I am just this keeping it as it is. Here I am just cross multiplying by taking the LCM. We would be getting omega 2 plus omega 1 divided by omega 1 omega 2 1 by C equal to 0. So here what we can do is there is minus sign here bring this whole term to other side so we would be getting like this so that we can cancel omega 1 plus omega 2 here so we would be left with l is equal to 1 divided by omega 1 omega 2 c so we would be getting the value of omega 1 omega 2 is equal to 1 by lc so this one equation we got here this is very important these two equations omega 1 and omega 2 what are those frequencies those two are two of the half power frequencies okay omega 1 and omega 2 are two of the half power angular frequencies keep it in mind so that if we the product of uh, two half power frequencies is given as 1 by lc this equation is also very important sometimes they would be asking in the problem to find the product of two half power frequencies that's why that and that time the data would be given that is l and c would be given we should be finding the other values okay so this is one equation this is not done yet name it as equation 4 but at resonance we know that the value of omega naught is equal to 1 by square root of lc right so what we would be getting square at this now that is omega naught square in order to make e uh, it equal with this equation i'm just squaring this term so that we would be getting uh, the uh, what to say right hand side equal right so what we would be getting now omega naught square i'm just squaring it in both sides so we would be getting omega naught square is equal to 1 by lc so we can see that equation 4 and equation 5 we can equate the left hand side since the right hand sides are equal so equate equation 4 and 5 we would be getting omega 1 omega 2 is equal to omega naught square so again uh, take square root on both sides you will be getting the value of omega naught that is the angular frequency is equal to square root of omega 1 into omega 2 where omega 1 omega 2 are half power frequencies now again if you want to further simplify this and represent this in terms of frequency that is we know that omega naught is 2 pi f naught that is equal to square root of 2 pi f1 into 2 pi f2 so simplify this what you would be getting is just in order to eliminate this uh, square root again do squares on both sides you would be getting 4 pi square f naught square is equal to 4 pi square okay f1 f2 okay so since this 2 pi 2 pi is equal 2 pi into 2 pi is 4 pi square along with one root we have here so that's why yeah so 4 pi square 4 pi square would be getting cancelled again we would be left with f naught square is equal to f1 f2 or f naught that is the series resonating frequency is e in terms of frequency not the angular frequency part that is equal to square root of f1 f2 okay so these are the relations keep it in mind these all formulas are very important so we can conclude that hence the resonant frequency is the geometric mean of two half power frequency that is the resonant frequency is the omega naught that is the geometric mean that is omega 1 times omega 2 into the whole uh, square root is the geometric mean of two of the half power frequencies half power frequencies are omega 1 and omega 2 now now what I am doing is I am subtracting 2 and 3 okay why I am subtracting 2 and 3 because now I am I want to write this equation these two I want to represent these two equations uh, considering the resistor in mind so if we add these two equations resistors will be getting cancelled up right now I am subtracting these two equations because we need this resistor now so that's why subtract 2 and 3 so after subtracting we will be getting the, the equation like this after the solving part that is uh, what we will be getting here is r minus of minus r that is equal to r plus r that is 2r then solve this we would be getting uh, like this one equation so solve this using lcm we would be getting like this in bracket so now divide this whole equation by l in order to eliminate uh, in order to uh, solve okay i am just dividing it by l so l by l this 2l would be getting cancelled we would be left with omega 2 minus omega 1 plus this term divided into 1 by lc is equal to 2r by l okay 
why i am dividing by, by by l because my main goal is here i want this to be written in terms of 1 by lc because we know that what is 1 by lc 1 by lc is equal to omega uh, omega not square right is equal to 1 by lc right also what is omega not square equal to omega 1 times omega 2 which i have already seen here the relation here right omega 1 omega 2 is equal to omega not square so that is equal to 1 by lc so that only i have written it here from equation 4 okay that is omega 1 omega 2 is equal to 1 by lc now substitute that here so what would be getting this you write it as it is so that we can cancel omega 1 omega 2 here since 1 by lc is equal to omega 1 omega 2 that is equal to 2 r by l so now what would be left with omega 2 minus omega 1 plus omega 2 minus omega 1 is equal to 2 r by l 2 times omega 2 minus omega 1 because omega 2 plus omega 2 is 2 omega 2 minus omega 1 minus omega 1 is minus 2 omega 1 so i have taken two common here again 2 2 would be getting cancelled we would be left with omega 2 minus omega 1 is equal to r by l so this is one more relation that is the uh, what to say the difference between two of the half power frequency is equal to r by l that is the resistance by the inductance again take the uh, value of omega equal to 2 pi f and solve what we would be getting the relation in terms of frequency we would be getting around r divided by 2 pi l where this 2 pi is the factor here okay which is uh, the uh, making difference between these two equations okay so this r by 2 pi l is represented as bandwidth okay this is the final expression for bandwidth that is r divided by 2 pi l okay this expression you should be keeping in mind this is represented as bandwidth since we know that the f2 minus f1 which i've already seen in the definition of bandwidth right that is equal to ba uh, bandwidth is equal to f2 minus f1 so here also we have got f2 minus f1 is equal to r by 2 pi l so f2 minus f1 is bandwidth so that's why the expression of bandwidth for uh, in terms of uh, uh, r and l we are getting one more equation okay that is r divided by 2 pi l. you should be keeping it in mind very important Yeah, so that's all for this session, guys. I have tried to cover one important derivation and the interrelationship between the half power frequencies, and try to get the expression of bandwidth that is equal to R by two pi L. Please keep uh, note these expression, guys. These are very important, okay? Because these expressions we are uh, uh, going to see when in our further when we solve the problems, okay? Uh, when we uh, see the problems of this, so please keep it in mind. So yeah, that's all for this session, guys. Uh, we'll see you in the next session. Thank you.